Hey folks, it's been a while, but today I've got a special treat for you, the Huawei P20 Pro. So I have tested the device out and here are my thoughts. Firstly, let's talk about design. This unique back piece is so gorgeous. It feels just about the same as an iPhone X in the hand. Yes, it's slippery, but overall it's a premium built device. At the front, we've got that beautiful 6.1 inch OLED display that's super bright, easy to view in direct sunlight and flanked at the bottom. We have got that super fast fingerprint scanner and to the top the notch that houses a speaker and the front facing camera most people like myself do not fancy the notch but it's not distracting at all when using this device huawei has made a way for users to disable the notch at will the huawei p20 pro shares similar internal specs as the mi 10 pro 128 gig storage 6 gigs of RAM, even the same Kirin 970 processor. But I have to add, this device operates way faster in comparison to the Mate 10. Everything here feels so much snappier. So the main focus of this device, those three cameras. The main sensor is a 40 megapixel sensor with optical stabilization and a f1.8 aperture. The second is a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor also with optical stabilization and an f1.6 aperture. And the third is a 3x or 3x telephoto lens also stabilized at f.24 aperture. Accurate colors, great dynamic range and lots of detail is what this camera gives you. Video on the other hand is okay at best but it gets the job done. 4K not so good because there is no stabilization present when doing 4K captures. Of course, Huawei's AI is here present, but I felt at times automatic enhancements are overdone at times. The front cam is okay at best, in my opinion. It's somewhat similar to what Samsung has offered, oftentimes making the subject a bit cartoonish. Additionally, this device has a 4000 mAh battery. Huawei's supercharged technology is on board as well. And yes, it's both waterproof and dust resistant. Overall, while I believe this device is the best one yet from Huawei, I think it's been held back a bit because of its current processing speed. Some things lacking are no OIS at 4K and no 4K 60 frames per second video. If these things are no matter to you, this device wins in design, battery life, software flexibility, and yes, it still has a great camera. Overall, a spectacular device that will not disappoint. Thanks again folks, look out for more reviews in the very near future. Peace.